They shook hands, year one, chapter 19, part two. They talked of everything and nothing at this countryside past, growing greener and tighter with each passing kilometer. Eventually, they changed out of their school robes and into their regular clothing. Harry still blushed when all the girls began to undress and went to the other apartment by himself. As all too soon, they were pulling into the platform nine and three quarters at King Cross Station. It took quite a while for them, to, for them to all to unload their trunks, stack up their carts, and get off the platform. Harry wasn't looking forward to going back to the, to, through the barrier and meeting the Dursleys. Draco was Mrs. Alfoy, waving as she started towards them. I can't believe you're stuck going back with the muggles, Draco said, sounding upset. You have loads more, you have, you have more, loads more fun staying in Malfoy Manor this summer. Harry, Mr. Malfoy said, shaking Harry's hand firmly. It's a pleasure to see you again. Draco's father was as distinguished as ever. He still carried his back, his black and silver cane. Thank you, sir, Harry answered. Thank you for, this, for the Christmas gift, Christmas present. I received your note, dear. Very thoughtful, Mrs. Malfoy said to him. Some people could take an example from you. Um, yeah, thanks for the crystal, Mum. Elon said, flushing. What did you name him? Miss, Mr. Malfoy asked Harry of his owl. Regal, sir, Harry replied. He thought for quite a while before deciding on that name. An eminently suitable name, Mr. Malfoy noted with a smile. Take good care of him. I will, Harry promised. As if through the barrier, they can face face with Dursleys. Uncle Vernon's still purple faced, still mustache looking, absolutely, absolutely furious at the nerve of Harry carrying a caged owl in a station full of ordinary people. Harry's their relations, Mr. Malfoy said icily. He was directly at Vernon, his eyes cold and hard as a gate. He was clearly speaking directly to Vernon, the third person. In a matter of speaking, for Uncle Vernon said gruffly, sounding highly defended that this wizard was even looking at him. Behind a man's tuned to a Dudley, who was looking terrified at the sight of the Malfoys. Hurry up, boy, don't have him got all day. He turned and walked away his face to face. Walked away his family following. Friendly much, that lot, Elon said coolly. More of that sort, he sneered. Harry, I'm sorry we couldn't get to get permission to come to the manor. I'm still working on it, Harry, Mr. Malfoy said smoothly. You could obviously murder the ministry sometimes. Pl piles of paperwork and red tape. As soon as possible, please, Harry reiterated, re re making sure his heart his car was secure. All right. Bye, Harry, Elon waved them. I'll see you real soon, real soon, Draco told them. Harry nodded. They shook hands. Then Harry turned and pushed the trolley after the muggles. Okay, so that's... They shook hands year one. The entire, that, that's all of year one, and I'll update you guys in year two as soon as possible. Take care, everybody.